everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to talk about how I have dealt with hair loss and the things I'm doing now and uh, things I've learned over the years with different times in my life when my hair has really thinned. I wanted to add right here in this introduction that uh, if you have a medical condition that is suddenly making your hair fall out, please go to the doctor and find out what it is. It could be any number of things that is causing this. I'm just kind of dealing with things that I have experienced. I knew the reason why my hair was falling out. I knew the things I could and couldn't do about it. And so these, this is the things, these are the steps that helped me deal with hair shedding, extra hair shedding. But if if it's a medical thing, you need to be seeing a doctor and you know, not listening to somebody on YouTube. So please, please take that in, into consideration that it could be a medical issue. Uh, and so make sure you get cleared by the doctor first to make sure there's nothing more serious going on. So back to the regular video. Uh, during different times, uh, it really shed a whole lot. The first time I really noticed it was when in 2000 when my mother uh, had to move down close to us and part of the time live with us when she had cancer and was going through chemo. And I took care of her for three years before she passed away and it was a very stressful time. So I noticed that my hair really started, I, I got a drain, I got a, a strainer and put in the bottom uh, of the tub and so I could see how much was coming out and a lot was coming out. I even got to where I would count it, it would be quite a bit, more than what was average, because I would look up what the average was, you know, how much you're supposed to use every day, lose every day, and mine was more than that. I started using then, I found it at Sally's, I started doing a lot of research reading, and I found, this was in 2000, yeah, I found the Nutrox system at Sally's. Uh, the treatment, the th it was a three-part treatment. These are pretty much the same. I remember the treatment was more of a gel and you squirted it out into your hand and put it on your roots. But now it's been replaced by a spray. It's kind of a, you know, real watery spray. But I used this three-part system, had really good luck with it. Uh, my mother had to go through chemo the whole time and uh, it really helped with her hair loss too. And you know, then I went on to different shampoos, started YouTube and went on back and forth different shampoos. And uh, I would go back periodically to Nutrox because, you know, I would notice it would thin according to circumstances or illness or, or things like that. So I started doing YouTube and uh, you know I, I went back on it periodically and then regular shampoo and back on that uh, and I don't noticed that it didn't work uh, quite as well. So I did some more research and I went into the Nioxin system. That's what I'm going to talk about today is the Nioxin. I have tons and tons of people that tell me they don't like the Nioxin. They like the, that it does, it quit working for them. So I said, well, try the Nutrox and see if that works. So if one doesn't work, try the other one. These are the only two I'm familiar with. So these are the only two I can talk about. I know my friend Elle, she really, really, really likes the Nutrox system and it has worked very well for her. And she does derma rolling too, uh, which I will get into that. Uh, but it has been very successful for her. Now, uh, talking about derma rolling, I don't do any derma rolling on my skin or my scalp because the medication that I am taking, I am prone to, I'm going to be more prone to infections that could be very serious. So I don't want to puncture my skin to bring in the chance of extra bacteria. It's like a multivitamin, but taking extra things like biotin or uh, any extra vitamins have, have really seemed to kind of tear up my system some. So I don't do that. I just do try to take care of my hair physically. Uh, so that's that's what that's the that's where I'm coming from is not taking these extra things and not derma rolling. These are the things I do, but those are certainly good options, and that's what a lot of people do. And it's really really helped them a whole lot with hair hair loss. But if it doesn't seem to be an option for you, um, these are the things that I do. I think we get to the age where we have to have workarounds. You know, you get more wrinkles, so you have to do a workaround with uh, foundation, or you get more uh, wrinkles. You know, your eyelids get crepey, so you have to do a workaround on that. You know, I think. The rest of our lives are probably going to be kind of workarounds, you know, to look and feel our best working around what we got to work with and what, you know, age deals us. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the Noxin because this is the one I'm using now and the one that has been for the past 
year off and on the one has that has worked the best for me let me tell you which one i use i use the number four it is for i use the shampoo the, the shampoo the conditioner and the treatment it's a three-part system you can buy them as a kit you can buy them separately i buy them separately now because i use them at different times use them up at different times uh, this is for i think nioxin has like eight seven or eight systems this one is for colored hair with progressed thinning now the last time i got sick i had very progressive thinning i had, took pictures and I, i'm ashamed to say i'm I just I can't bring myself to show them on here it was pretty pretty bad hair loss I disguised it well by keeping my hair rolled and by using a powder uh, you know to cover it up with a brush and keep it filled in but right through here and on the top of my head on the crown I had pretty bad hair loss where my scalp was very much showing so uh, you know I I had to deal with that so what I have done uh, more recently is I have used that oxen and I feel like I was using it correctly, but I really, I went to Ulta and I read through all the questions under the Nioxin system. And a representative from Nioxin was answering a lot of questions. So I went through them all to see and they explained exactly how this should be used. Uh, they said, and it, this is what has been working for me, it has worked for me very well. My hair loss is just so much better now. I use a strainer in the bathtub. I lay my head over the bathtub and I have a, a shower thing, a handheld shower that I wash my hair with. And I look to see how much is in the strainer. It is very, very little now. And then when I get tangles out, I do that over the bathtub too. So I can see, you know, when I clean up my bathtub, I can see in my hand how much hair I've gotten out from. Um, also, not only from shampooing, but from getting the tangles out too. So I'm keeping a pretty good hold on how much hair I'm actually losing. So what they were saying on these questions and answers is, um, is what I've been following and had good luck. So the number one thing they said, give it, give it three months, give it time, and try to shampoo your hair every day if you can. Now I realize that, you know, you're like me, if you're like me, I color my hair, I wear my hair long. I do mine every other day. They say if you don't shampoo it every day, it is going to take a little bit longer for your hair loss to be reversed, but to be patient, it just takes time to clean out those uh, pores, uh, to you know stimulate the follicles again, and to uh, you know work on work on getting everything cleaned out again. So you shampoo your hair, and you know really get your scalp clean. I do it twice, and I, whoops, and I use this shampoo. Then, and I do exactly as they say, I, I do that twice, I shampoo it twice, then I put the conditioner on. First, I put, oh, a good quarter size anyway, on the roots and run it through. Then I put about half of that on my scalp, and then I run it through my scalp, and I shampoo my scalp with it, you know, and, you know, make sure it gets on my scalp covered real well, especially around the edges here and on the crown, because that's where I had the most hair loss. So, and then I set my watch, and I do it for three minutes, and, um, I just kind of stand there. Sometimes I'll brush my teeth or whatever, but uh, or sometimes I'll clean out my bathtub, but I, I let it sit for three minutes. And after the three minutes is up, I wash it, you know, I rinse it out real well. Okay, then I do the step three, which is the treatment. It is a mousse. So I shake it up real well and I spray, well, I don't spray it on my hand, I spray it directly in my hair. hair. Most mousses you spray in your hand. And it's not a big build-up mousse, it's kind of a watery mousse. So I spray right, I spray three on this side, three on this side, and three on the crown. And I really work it in these areas, really work it up here. And then I just take my fingers and do it all over my scalp to stimulate that. And then I'll leave it for several minutes before I get the tangles out, before I style my hair. You can style your hair the normal way that you want to. I try to use as few products as I can. So I just use the mousse uh, as sort of a setting thing. I blow dry my hair and then I style it a lot of times I will use, like I did today, use a big curling iron and curl it and then put a Velcro roller in, let it cool down, take it out, fluff it up, and then spray it with just a little hairspray. Or I will add a little extra mousse, a curl, curling mousse. My, my favorite is the Garnier Curl Construct and I will diffuse it and wear it curly. Or I might blow dry it out straight. 
I will add a, add something to my ends to get it to, to smooth down more and I'll wear it straight. So your base, you know, you get your base done and then you can fool with the rest of your hair and style it the way you want to. Now washing it so much with these shampoos, with the Nutri-Ox or with this one, it's gonna dry your ends out. So you may have to add extra oils. You may have to do a leave-in conditioner. You're mainly with these systems, you're mainly taking care of, you know, this area right through here, all around through here. And the rest of it, just treat it like your other hair, put extra conditioner in, extra anything that you need to get it into good shape. But to, but I like to you know, take care of the root area, the scalp area with these three products. And I try not to use any dry shampoo. I try to shampoo it frequently. I try to keep it really, really clean, the whole scalp area really clean, really without it getting clogged. I think we can use so much product sometime, or I did. I used so much product that I could tell that my, my pores, you know, my hair follicles were getting clogged and they were dying. Uh, so I, I've made a point to really shampoo my hair very often and to keep it very, very clean and keep those hair follicles stimulated. I think that's, that's kind of what this does is stimulate your hair follicles. Now, if you have other major issues that you need to go to the doctor and they need to do something else, that's a whole different story. But if you're experiencing some extra shedding and some extra hair loss, you know, then this might be something that is helpful for you. Do this or the Nutri-Ox. And, uh, you know, these, like I said, these are the ones that I've had experience with. But so anyway, that is what I do uh, to, you know, help with hair loss with me. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I'm pleased with the Nioxin system. Um, I've had good luck with it and I'm kind of going to start a thing, I think, for hair stuff because I just like to do different kinds of hair things, different hair stuff. I like to wear it curly, I like to wear it straight, I like to wear it up, down, I like to tease up hair, I like to smooth it down, I like to part it over here, part of it, anything you can think of I like to do with my hair. I'm having fun with it after wearing it short so long and so, you know, so many different years of just wearing it the same way. So I'm having fun with it now and I guess that's the main thing with hair is just to have fun with it. So I will start a category, uh, a playlist of this one and then um, as I do more videos, I might do different ones um, again. What I'll do is I'll go through and look at the videos I've already done about hair and either put them in there or if they don't seem to apply anymore, I will remake it and delete the old one. So I'm kind of cleaning up my channel and deleting videos that don't apply anymore and then remaking them again just to make them a little more relevant to, to the age I am now. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of the week and I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.